time with the Entity Tutor and in today's tutorial we'll be talking about CIT 102 so I'm um, going to be taking the topic history brief description of computer so it has been said let's hop straight into it before we go into the other things this afternoon I'm just going to quickly go through our comment section see what messages we have all right so we have okay um, good afternoon beautiful people by noble not bed of roses we have miss esther says hello it's great to have you join us Esther, we have similar similar says good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, it's good to have you. And we have mindset, tech mindset says good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. It's good to have you on the stream. So um it has been said, um, let's just go straight into it. All right. So we have CIT 102 IT 102 <clears throat> CIT 102 is what we're taking and um, we're going to be doing the brief description of I think I'm going to switch this off now brief description of computer now a lot of things are going to be uncovered you know yeah there might be things you might have perhaps at the point believed about computer or assumed about computer in this class a lot of things you will find out that they are not actually what you think it used to be now let's go straight to it we have <clears throat> development of computer machine has been development of computer is dated back to many now development of computer now development of computer is dated Back to Abacus. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'd be like, what happened to Charles Babbage? No. Abacus has been before Charles Babbage. Now, Abacus, the development of computer is dated to Abacus. Let's just continue. You know why. Now, as old as 3000 BC, BC signifies before Christ, as old as 3000 BC, and was primarily used for calculating device aid memory. Now, Abacus is as old. Abacus as old as 3000 years before Christ. So as old as 3,000 years before Christ. And primarily, it is used in calculating. It's a calculation device to aid memory. Calculating device. Device to aid memory. Abacus is the calculating device that is used to aid memory now the first computer the first computing machinery built in 1812 by Babbage Abacus has been before the computing machinery built not the computer itself but the computing machinery built by Charles Babbage in 1812 was a model called difference engine to computer 
log reading, different engines to computer log reading tables and print the results. Now, first computing machinery in 1812. 1812. We have first computing machine first computing machinery built in 1812 by Charles by Charles Babbage Babbage the man who is usually referred to as father of computer Babbage is double B by Charles Babbage the man often refer to as father of computer 1812 the first computing machinery built by Charles Babbage in 1812 so we have that as that now Babbage later conceived in 1833 a building of better device capable of performing any calculation. Now, this one that he built was basically for it's basically a an engine to compute logarithm tables and print results. Now, the one he did in 1812. 1812 computing machinery to computing computing you want it built in 1812 by Babbage was for computing logarithm tables. Logarithm tables and printing the results. The one he did, so it was in 1833. It was in 1833 that Charles Babbage. It was in 1833 that Charles Babbage conceived on how to conceive the idea of building a better device capable of performing any calculation. Better device capable of performing any function any calculation function such as addition subtraction multiplication division according to instruction code or card better device capable of performing capable of performing any calculation any calculation we have plus we have minus we have division we have multiplication so are we observing the processes now it was in 1812 that i first did the computing machine that can only compute logarithm tables and print the results but in 1833 he conceived the idea of building a better device capable of performing any calculation. So we have that as that. So let's proceed. Now, this device was called analytic engine. Now, don't forget, this one was called difference engine. The one of 1812 difference engine 
Now, the one of 1833 is analytic. Analytic. Right. Yeah. I think it's, it's better now. It's back. So, the machine of 1812 was the machine of 1812 was different engine but the one of 1833 is analytic engine so we have that as that analytical i mean analytical engine analytical engine Okay. Let's proceed. Now, Babbage analytical engine, Babbage analytical engine could store intermediate results. could store inter intermediate could store intermediate results in a memory unit could store intermediate results in a memory unit now, the Babbage analytical engine is capable. You know, this is the same one we say it has the ability to perform any calculation, as well as the capacity to store intermediate results in a memory unit. So we have that as that. Can we raise them? Then we move on. Okay. Now, unfortunately, Babbage died before the engine was finally constructed in 1871 by his son, but he still has honor being called the father of computer till today. So, in 1871, the analytical engine was completed by Babbage's son, because Babbage kicked the bucket. <clears throat> 18. Okay, it's 1871, not Babbage's son completed the project at the demise of his father. So we have that as that. Demise of his father. 
Okay, that was in um, 1871. Very well. So we have that as that. And we also established that um, Babbage is honored of being called the father of computers. Now, the first program was developed, the very first program very first program was developed for Babbage's analytic engine by Ada Oster Brero. First program developed for Babbage's analytical 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 engine was by Ada was by Ada Augusta 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 Bryron. Okay, that's Bryron. Byron. Augusta Byron. So we have that as that. Okay. So we may proceed. And um and she is today remain as remembered. As a first computer programmer, first computer programmer, Ada. <laughs> so the first computer programmer happens to be a lady, Brian. First computer programmer. Ada Augustus, Augusta Bryan. Okay. Just a moment. Yes, first programmer, computer programmer, Ada Augustus Bry Byron. That's the first computer programmer. So we have that as that. Now we have development of technology has been closely associated with the evolution of computer. Development of technology has been closely associated with the evolution of computer now while babbage machine were mechanical in design babbage machine were mechanical in design modern computer called maquan was the first world electrical computer maquan modern computer maquan the first electrical the first electrical computer the first electrical as modern computer maquan modern computer modern computer maquan so we have that as that let's proceed now then there came ENIAC electronic numerical integrator and calculator which was the first electronic computer built in 1945 then came ENIAC 
and came Enoch in 1945. 1945, then came Enoch. Enoch. 1945. Then came Enyak. Enyak, that's um, electronic numerical integrator and calculator. Electronic. Electronic numerical integrator. Numerical. integrator in integrator electric electronic numerical integrator integrator and calculator and calculator integrator and calculator in 19 which was built in 1945 built in 1945 ENIAC electronic numerical integrator and calculator built in 1945 so we have that as that so a quick recap we have in 1871 Babbitt's son completed the machine at the demise of his father. First program developed for Babbage analytical engine was by Ada Augustus Byron. Byron. And Ada Augustus Byron happened to be the first programmer and God had it, as God had it. She's a female, a lady. The first, very first programmer in history happens to be a lady. Ada Augustus Byron. So we have that as that. And we have Mark 1, which happens to be the first electrical computer, also known as modern computer. Not so long, we have ENIAC. ENIAC, which in full means the electronic, numerical, and integrated an electronic numerical integrator and calculator built in 1945. Okay, we have that as that. So we may proceed. Now we have the first computer to perform arithmetic and logical operation using a stored one program. Within it was called EDSAC. EDSAC. Now EDSAC. EDSAC, Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Computer. I need to switch the marker. Electronic delayed storage automatic computer. Now, this is the first format that perform arithmetic and logical operation using a stored one program. 
stored one to perform arithmetic and logic using a stored one program. So we have that as that, and um, may proceed. Now we have after exact came followed edvac and edvac in full edvac said electronic discrete automatic computer electronic discrete electronic discrete automatic computer automat auto automatic computer okay So we have just a moment. Okay. Okay, so there's something we are missing. Electronic discrete variable. Electronic discrete variable automatic computer. Electronic electronic discrete variable automatic computer. So we have that as that. So we may proceed. Okay. Yeah, good to go. Now we have Today's computer are electronic design. Today's computer are electronic design. Now, most early generation computers were developed for scientific and military purposes. Most generation, most early generation computers were developed for scientific and military purposes. Now, the first commercial electronic computer was the Univac. The Univac, the first commercial, electronic commercial. Now the Univac. That's the first electronic commercial computer. Universal automatic computer. Okay, just a moment. Okay. Hey, okay. universal automatic computer. Universal automatic computer. Universal automatic computers. We have that as that. So we may proceed. <clears throat> now 
now we have now the historical developments the historical developments of the computer can be divided into four phases four phases historical development of computer can be divided into four phases now Okay, not four, I beg your pardon. Can be divided into six places. Yeah, six places. Yeah, six, not four, I beg your pardon. Can be divided into six places. So we have the very first generation, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. Six generations, yeah. Okay. So we have the first generation computer the first generation computer uses what we call tomb vacuum. Okay, I think I'm just going to erase this. Okay, so I have one, the first generation, so I have the first generation, the first generation computer uses vacuum, vacuum tubes, vacuum vacuum tubes first generation of computer uses vacuum tube second generation of computer uses transistors 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 the third generation uses integrated circuits ic's integrated circuits integrated circuits as i c's the fourth the fourth generation uses um Large scale integrated, large scale integrations, and very large scale integrated circuits. Now we have LSI and VLSI. LSI and VLSI. Large scale integrated circuits, very large scale integrated circuits. So we have the fifth generation. Fifth generation. The fifth generation computer use man-made knowledge called artificial intelligence. AI. Artificial intelligence. So we have the sixth, the sixth generation, which is what we call nanotechnology, 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 sixth generation uses nanotechnology. So, with this, we'll call it a wrap for today and we'll take it up in next class from the types of computers. So very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for, although the attendance, in this, uh, the attendance for this class is not very impressive, but nevertheless, for a few of us that 
attended the class do well to submit your notes send it to me on whatsapp it's necessary and um it's one way we um monitor students progress do well to submit your notes i believe while the video while the tutorial was going on you were making your notes you were taking notes so it's just that note you need to take a picture of and send it to the whatsapp group thank you very much everyone and i look forward to seeing you this evening bye, -bye.